Today on Cruise Man's Garage, we're going to be installing a Super Brace fork stabilizer on this 2012 Suzuki V-Strom DL650. The Super Brace fork stabilizer is made in the USA from billet aluminum and it's anodized black to match the front forks of your Suzuki V-Strom. Now today we're installing on a DL650, but installation on a DL1000 is virtually the same. The tools needed for this job are a 5mm hex wrench, a 5mm socket, a 12mm socket, a ratchet, and a torque wrench. Before we start, make sure you have the correct super brace for your year and make and model of motorcycle. Your bike should be upright with the wheel facing perfectly forward. Now you can use a center stand if you have one. If not, you can place a piece of wood underneath the kickstand. Using a 12 millimeter socket, loosen the axle pinch bolt on the left front fork, but don't remove the bolt. Go ahead and disassemble the super brace by removing the four five millimeter hex bolts. Once the bolts are removed, you can separate the two halves of the super brace. On a DL650, there's just enough room between the front fork and the fender to install the super brace without moving the fender out of the way. However, I'm going to show you how to move the front fender just in case you decide you want to so you have a little more room to work with. We need to remove the front fender bolt so we can slide the fender forward. Notice the two 5mm hex bolts on each side of the front fender. Go ahead and remove these now. With the four bolts removed, you can now carefully slide the fender forward just about an inch or two. Now you're ready to position the super brace on the front fork tubes. Notice how the super brace name faces forward and the bolts will face to the rear. Also notice a small ridge on top of the front fork tube and the super brace will fit down on top of that ridge as shown here. Now you can install the four 5mm bolts and hand tighten and then once these are in you can use a torque wrench to tighten these bolts to 10 foot pounds. It is very important that you re-tighten and torque your axle pinch bolts to the factory torque specs for your motorcycle. Now we're ready to slide the front fender back into place and replace the four bolts, two on each side, and tighten these back to factory torque spec. Before you ride, make sure that none of your cables or hoses are in a bind and that everything has good clearance. 